Hi, my name is Chris. Today I'm going to show you how to do your quarterly pump maintenance on your 20 and 40 gallon per minute Grunfoss integrated VFD pump. The following procedures should be followed to clean the strainer on a 40 and 20 GPM pump. They are identical in design, but different in size. For the purposes of this video, we'll demonstrate on the 40 GPM pump. First, close the water inlet ball valve to the panel and pump. Using a strap wrench or channel lock pliers, loosen and remove the upper housing from the strainer assembly. Remove the strainer assembly and inspect for debris. If the strainer is clean, it can be reinstalled and the pump will need to be primed if it's a 40 GPM pump. This particular strainer has water deposits and sludge built up on the screen and needs to be cleaned. Take the strainer over to the sink, use a plastic brush and warm water to clean the strainer and remove the debris and water deposits. Install the strainer back into the housing, tighten the upper housing by hand, and then an additional quarter turn with a wrench. Note, there is an inspection cap on the upper housing for a quick check of the strainer prior to removal. I'd like to show you a closer look at the inlet strainer assembly. This channel here is the lower housing where the strainer sits. The strainer must be aligned in this channel or it can become damaged. Once the strainer is seated in the channel, the upper housing can be tightened to the lower housing. Open ball valve to allow water to flow to the pump. The final step is to turn the water inlet back on, then bleed the pump if it's a 40 GPM pump. That completes our recommended quarterly pump maintenance. If you follow these steps, your 20 or 40 GPM Grunfoss pump will continue to power your Aqualab for a long, long time. If you have any questions or want to learn more about these pumps, please contact us by email at hello at hydroflexinc.com or by phone at 952-808-3640. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for other helpful videos.